class for Mercedes is a bit of an icon. See estate. When look at it from a distance, it can look a little bit well ordinary. But then you come closer. Well, then it's all class. But what is it going to be? An ordinary class or class of its own? Well, come with me. We're going to find out what this German baby is all about. Okay, let's see how quick you have Mercedes. So we're gonna put you into Sport Plus mode. Shall we switch off the electronic stability control off? Yeah, let's switch the nanny off. Come on. Foot on the brake, foot on the throttle, let's warm you up a bit, and off we go. So the declared zero to 100 is 7.5 seconds. Uh, let's see how quick we are. Actually, pretty quick, 87 seconds. Control. So the top speed is 250 kilometers an hour. See in a state car, seven seconds. 1.5 liter engine. I ain't bad at all. So under the bonnet, I've got a big rocket. Now I'm just messing with you. This is a petite engine, and it is actually a mild hybrid. So I've got an electric motor which produces 20 horses in addition to the 204 horses being pumped by the turbocharged petrol engine. 300 Newton meters of torque. Now, I know what you might be thinking, Mercedes, are you kidding me? By putting a 1.5 liter engine into a C-Class. What are you doing? Well, I'll tell you what they're doing, sweethearts. What most manufacturers are doing and will be doing, and that is reducing the engine sizes. Even the AMG is moving away from eight cylinders. No, not to six pots, but to four pots. Exactly what we've got in here. It's a tough reality to swallow, but swallow it we must. But truth be told, this setup is more than enough for most people. That's because it's tuned beautifully, it runs elegantly, and most important, it is in a solid synergy with the 9-speed automatic gearbox. So 9 gears, huh? <laughs> lots to ponder, lots to wonder, and plenty of opportunities to cook it all up. But let me tell you, this gearbox is brilliant. It is quick, it is smooth, and you do not feel the change of gears at all. But this gearbox is also very intelligent. When you're going on the motorway at higher speeds, 140 kilometers an hour, 90 miles an hour, it keeps the revs very low at about 1500 RPMs. Just to give you an idea, most cars will jump well above 2000 RPMs. But why should you care about the lower revs? Well, I'll tell you why. There are a couple of things which come with lower revs. The first one, is the lower the revs, the quieter the car. So even when you're going fast, this car remains very, very quiet. And the second thing is, well, money, honey. The lower the revs, the better the fuel economy. So all in all, this gearbox, well, it is a gem that is hard to find. Okay, let's check the boot space electronic your operator tailgate. It's working. For a second I thought it was in a bit of a mood, but fine. We've got 490 liters of space. The floor here is completely flat, which means it's very easy to slide items out and put them back in. The floor here is very low. Think about it. In an SUV, you have to lift items a little bit higher to put them into your boot. And if this is not enough space, of course, you can fold the back seats down to carry all the clutter that you must absolutely carry. And that is enough about the boot space. Why you wanna let me go na na now? Are you saying that you change your mind? For love or pity, let being a backseat passenger in the sea estate feels absolutely lovely. So I've adjusted the front seat for my height, which is just over 1.7 meters, 5 foot 7. I've got plenty of legroom, very good headroom. I do love this panoramic sunroof. I mean, check it out. What about the middle seat? Well, you do have a big hump here on the floor. So as long as you've got small feet, 
that you can fit yep that's the situation it really does serve as an emergency seat for an adult for a child it should be all right but otherwise the space here is absolutely lovely someone help me catch my breath again how did you stop loving me so let's look at you fuel economy that is a disclaimer I do have a reasonably heavy right foot and all I'm using is about 8 liters. This is a really good result. And why do I say that? Well, very often when manufacturers decide to reduce the engine sizes by putting a smaller engine in a medium or a large sized car, the opposite can happen. The car has got too much to push, it starts to sweat and ends up burning more fuel than with a larger engine. But Mercedes has been very careful and have achieved a very good result. Here we've got also a big fuel tank over 700 kilometers of a range. <laughs> and recently, well, petrol stations have become a very interesting place. A very luxurious place, almost like a Dolce & Gabbana shop. The differences seem to be paper thin. <laughs> Who would have thought? I think petrol stations are not good for neither your body, your wallet that is, nor for your mind. So the less often you have to go to a petrol station, the healthy you're probably going to be. And is the C200 a comfy car? <laughs> you will have a peachy right here. Bumps potholes, imperfections are not your concern at all. Wind whistle, tire noise, nope. This is such a brilliant long distance cruiser. You activate adaptive cruise control, put the seat kinetics on. In fact, let's do that now. That put me at ease. Lovely, gentle massage. I like that. Sit back, relax and just monitor the car. The steering, it's got a natural feel about it. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. It's just right. It's got a good response, good turning circle. It's dead easy to maneuver. Just got in and out of car parks. We've got a very good visibility, big rear window, no blind spot in the front, and of course, the wonderful cameras. I think probably best cameras on the market. Okay, and on to the cabin. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? I mean, personally, I do love Mercedes cabins, but this is just, I like, I like a lot. The quality of the materials, the fit and finish is absolutely superb. Absolutely nothing squeaks, nothing wobbles. I have tried to take bits and pieces away, but I was not able to. Let's jump into practicality. So, light ball of what it is. You can easily fit it in the door bin and even after you've placed the bottle down here, you still have plenty of space. You can put the bottle in here as well and you can lock it so that your drinks don't end up banging on the sides and spilling all over your brand new Mercedes. You wouldn't want that, would you? Oh no. What about the pocket down here? Reasonably big size. You've got two USB-C ports glove box reasonably big size okay more storage space down here You've got wireless mobile charging okay one USB-C port you can also close this pocket so you hide all your mobile phone secrets all right it just looks beautiful I actually do love this color combination so light gray with beige together with stripes it looks sporty modern yet very very elegant okay i do like these seats they're very very comfy and they, you know they hold your body when you go on a twisty row okay lovely steering wheel it's on the thicker side i personally like the thicker steering wheels i mean this is not a sports car you don't need a thin steering wheel you've got the controls down here and it does to be a, appear to be a bit of a mumbo jumbo to start with but it actually is not give it a bit of time a bit of patience it all makes sense. I mean, it's Germanic. It has to make sense, right? So the right-hand side controls the screen and the left-hand side controls the digital driver's display, which is, by the way, absolutely stunning. You can, of course, change the layouts to suit your needs and suit your desires. Okay, just the graphics, beautiful. Paddle shifters, although, would you be bothered changing gears in a car like this? Probably not. I suppose when you take it to the mountains, you're going down the mountains, in order to preserve your brakes. Actually, these do come in handy, all right? Okay, you've got the Burmeister sound system. Okay, that'll cost you extra dollars, of course. Nothing in life is for free. And moving on to this beautiful section, vertical screen. So this is the MBUX system. 
and it is actually together with iDrive from BMW by far two best infotainment systems available on the market. I mean, look at the quality of this screen. The system is quick, it is simple, the graphics are absolutely beautiful. I mean, I want to point out that this system is and the screen is just not another gimmick. It actually works so well and it makes your life so much better and it's not distracting. Funny enough, I was a little bit afraid you know, big screen. Mm, no, they've 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 done a very good job because it's just easy to operate. You can of course operate it here with the controls, but I actually tend to use my finger and the touch screen. It's quick, comfort. Let's have a look at you. Seat kinetics. I'm having this activated already. That's why I'm so calm and easy. Ambient lighting is absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you some driving shots from when it gets a little bit dark. You know, I've always thought it, I mean, lighting is a bit of a gimmick and it's just a waste of money. But it's not, because let me tell you, on a grey day or at night, it is so beautiful to drive this car. It feels a bit like a nightclub, or you can make it into a peaceful oasis. Because you can change these colours, right? I mean, on grey days, and let's be honest, we've got plenty of those in a year. It's just beautiful. So easy, simple, and so, so beautiful. Just like the cabin, I think, actually. Hmm. I've always had a soft spot for Mercedes cabins, but I mean, are you surprised? Because I am not. This cabin just knocks it out of the park. Time to look into the dynamics and sportiness of this vehicle. So let's think of the driving modes, shall we? What have we got in here? We've got Eco. Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Individual. Which you can customize the settings for the steering, the throttle response, and the suspension. But we are going to put you into Sport mode and we are going to floor it. Let's see what we've got. Actually, <laughs> there's a tiny bit of a rattle, not bad. And I smash the throttle pedal, something most will not be doing in a vehicle of this nature. Let me put it this way. You've got enough to overtake an idiot in the front of you without a fight. It must be the electric motor, which gives it a, a lovely punch. It's all very silky. All of the power is being sent to the rear wheels, and in terms of handling on a twisty road, well, there's absolutely no body lean. You feel solid, you feel planted, you've got plenty of grip. And this is something a lot of people forget because an estate will most likely more often than not handle better than any SUV simple answer physics and this German pleasure will cost you well it starts from just over 40,000 pounds in the UK so C200 estate in a nutshell practicality plenty high tech probably as good as it gets solid driving dynamics it is a wonderful alternative to an SUV. Beautiful to look at, yet still very subtle. It's the sort of understated elegance and simplicity. Personally, I absolutely love it. And the AMG package is just the cherry on the cake. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day, whatever that you're up to. And I shall see you all very, very soon. Bye.